Hey, how's it going? Welcome to Steve's Read. Bit of a different video today. I'm not doing in the cut from my house. I'm out and about in, in the Cotswolds. And if you can see behind me, right over in the distance is Wales. So um, yeah, this is gonna be a bit of a different one for me. I've never been here before. So I'm gonna film the video and talk to you as I go around about books and how I love being outside. Okay. Hey guys, right, here we are, sort of still walking around. So, booktube, yeah, and newbies. Um, well, first thing I want to talk about, for me personally, is, is, is booktube hostile to newbies? Um, no, <laughs> it is the answer. I've been doing booktube now for about a month, I've uploaded three videos. When I first started, yes, it was really, really overwhelming. Um, you, you come on and you see that the, what we'll call the big, you, the big booktubers. And it's not just the amount of views or subscribers they have that you know feel completely threatened and make you think, "What on earth am I doing here?" It's the um, it's how it's how many books they read each month. It's just overwhelmingly crazy. So yeah, I find that that was my first thing. I I've started to find my niche, and I'll talk about that next. Oh, we're into the woods now. So yeah, you booktube and my little niche. Well, when I first started off. I guess like most people, I just subscribed to all the big ones and started watching them religiously, or religiously, religiously, you know what I mean. Well, anyway, as the month has gone on, I've sort of found myself gradually unsubscribing. Not as I go against them, that should be completely off of me. But I find that my niche is with the smaller YouTubers, the people that are pretty much like me, the, the people that understand where I am, where I'm coming from. And I've been commenting and chatting. I've made some fantastic friends on there. My novel treasures, hi, how you doing over in Canada? Lovely, been chatting to her about things. Not just books, it's been fun. But that's what I was here for. I was here to interact with people, talk about books, find out books that I wouldn't really have normally picked up. So I don't think BookTube is hostile to newbies. I think it's just a case of newbies can be hostile to YouTube because we've got to find our own level. We've got to find who we are, where we are, what the hell was that? <laughs> Sorry, I just thought I heard a noise. It's full of things in this little wood. I'm gonna move on for a bit and finish the video off in a bit. Hey, just come out of scary woods. I say scary woods, lost woods without a bit of mystery. I think it was a deer or something. It was something in the distance and I didn't run, but I walked a little bit faster. But the beautifulness, I've just come out of the dark woods and wow, will you just look at that view? It is absolutely panoramically wonderful up here. I'm so glad I'm taking pictures of this. The weather is perfect. The day is just amazing. So anyway, back to the YouTube. Yes, um, tags. I'm watching a lot of tags lately. Again, from the lesser known, less popular YouTubers. And I've done the newbie jab. I'm having a good fun, they're a good laugh. Oh, here's some doggies. Hello, boys. Hello. So here we are, we're being surrounded by dogs now. So I guess a popular place for dog walkers. It's so warm up here. I don't know what it is. I'm not a weather forecast man, but there's lots, is it thermals coming up? It's it's absolutely boiling. And the people up here are just so nice. I've never been here before and I'm asking them questions. What's the best way to go? And everyone's just so friendly. <laughs> you know, the doggies have gone. We, we stopped for the doggies. So where are we talking? Ah, yes, uh, tags. Um, yeah, I, I've loved watching them. I, again, I've liked watching the, 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 the smaller YouTubers videos because I find again they're more sort of personal to me and it brings us nicely on to my next point which is how many books should I be reading on YouTube? YouTube I've got to stop saying that, booktube. How many books should I be reading? I don't consider myself a slow reader but I am very fickle and to me getting lost in a book I can pass hours but read very few because my mind's reading the words and my brain is just on a journey of its own. It's taking me away, I'm imagining the characters, the surroundings. So I can spend a long time and not read very much. And that's one of the things that really got me at first with you booktube, careful Steve, was how many books people are reading. It's like, you know, July book haul, and I'm six foot four and people stand there with the books up to, well, not quite up to there, but you know what I mean, a lot of books. And again, I sort of thought, am I just not doing this properly? <laughs> but I watched a few other videos. I can't remember her name. I will put her in the, in the, the um, description below. And, she had a brilliant channel and a brilliant, what do you call it, a tube, a vlog, I don't know. And it said about how not to be intimidated, that, you know, she, like me, can read maybe 
one or two books a month, depending. And I just thought that was so much so brilliant. So I've just finished my first book, which I will do a review on, on here. I did do Todd's Midnight Garden recently, but that was a book I'd read many times before. So the new one's going to be Lingwood Barclay, A Parting Shot. It's part of the Primrose Falls trilogy, but I'll do a separate video about that. But yeah, so I'm going to concentrate more now, me personally, on doing videos that I enjoy doing, talk about books, maybe shooting in locations like this, and a few little challenges as we go along. So yeah, anyway, on with the walk. Right, well, here we are, almost there on my first walk, and I think what a fantastic time to end my, uh, my video. So this is just a little wrap up for me of my first month on booktube and a massive thank you to all of the subscribers and the comments and the like videos it's it's really quite endearing isn't it you 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 feel so alone if you like posting these videos and then you realize that people are watching them and commenting and liking them and it, it really it, it's really nice so thank you i love it all um, I don't see behind me, but the reason I chose this place to end is right over there in the distance, not quite as far as Wales, down a little bit, is the Great River Severn, which runs up into Bristol. I don't think you can really see it from here, but right up in the distance is the M5 running down towards Cornwall, and to the side to the right of that is the 27 bridges over into Wales, because this is where it all ends, where the Severn ends, this is where I end my video. So that is it, my roundup of my first month on YouTube. Thanks again for everybody's, what, everybody's commented. You're absolutely fantastic. Keep up the good work, all my friends on here, and I will see you next month for my first actual book review that I've read this month to post positively on here. Okay, thank you, bye-bye.